Okay, good afternoon. It's uh, Tuesday today. Uh, Tuesday the something or other, 27th, I think. Yes, it is. Tuesday the 27th of September. And I'm going to do a cooking video. With the air fryer, I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do, well, I'll do the intro and I'll come back to you. Right, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison. Now, it's a real blind comparison for the simple reason we've never tried these before, these particular things. So this is what we're doing. Harry Ramson's four battered jumbo pork sausages. Exclusive to Iceland. We actually got them from the range. Um, people in another country wouldn't know that is. Harry Ramson's is pretty well famous, I think. Anyway, so, right. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to do two sausages in the oven. Got it on there till it comes to 180. And two sausages in the Lakeland, if you remember it, air fryer. There's a moth on there. Look at that moth. Bug wolf moth. Yeah, uh, right, in the air fryer. And I'm doing chips for that. Also in the air fryer, which we've done a couple of times now and been quite successful. Right, so let's uh, give some power to the air fryer. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm doing sausages in the oven, 180 degrees, as per the instructions for 25 minutes. In here, I, I'm gonna do a double check, but I think it's 170 for the temperature for 20 minutes, but I've got a conversion thing and I'll have to go and check again. Still f fresh and new with this, with this thing, so bear with me on that. Um, as we try it out with, oh, it's a bit of a mark on there. As we try it out, I'm trying it out with you, so you get to know about the Lakeland air fryer, because there's still not much out there. I think I'm still the only video on the Lakeland. Anyway, I'll catch you again when the oven's heated up, and I'm going to start cooking. But we're going to do a comparison then. A, because we don't know what they taste like anyway, so it's really blind. And B, we're going to compare obviously between the oven and the air fryer. So anyway, catch you again in a bit. Right. So, um, I checked up, it is uh, 100, where we go, to, it's 20 minutes at 160. Right, the oven's now hot enough, so I've also sticked a pie in as well for, um, for Queen of Tate to work with her. Right, so anyway, so right, here we go, 25 minutes in the oven, using the top oven because I've only got a little bit in there. Right, that one, start. Don't want to go. Right, yep, yeah, so that's as that's 25 minutes for the chips um, and 25 minutes for that. So five minutes time when that hits 20. Um, when that hits 20, I should put this on for the 20 minutes. Uh, right, I'll catch you again in five minutes time. Well, four minutes 30 seconds. Okay, so as you can see, we're coming up to the 20 minutes. There we go. 20 minutes. So this is now going to go in for its 20 minutes. Alright. So that's an exact comparison then. Um, incidentally, Angel, right, just to let you know, if you're watching this, I have got coffee on the go. Right. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, so that's it for the minute. For, for you, for a fraction of a second. For me, 20 minutes. Well, 19 minutes and we'll see how they come out like um, I'm having my chips sausage and back with my chips with baked beans and cream and I'll be having a sweet corn because she loves a sweet corn alright so anyway catch you again in a fraction of a second okay so past halfway I forgot to do this but let's pull the chips out now they look they don't look bad do they give them a shake I should have done that actually about three minutes ago but never mind Oh, we're still on track. That's how she is. I think we'll pull them out and give them a little shake, shall we? They look alright. They smell nice anyway. You can't do that, you can't smell it. But they do look alright. Okay, um, that's it again for the minute. There's nothing else I can show you for the minute. Uh, I'm letting it do its job, so 
see you in about another eight minutes or in your time a fraction of a second okay then time's up right so chips all nicely done leave them in there for a minute though sausages so what we're gonna do just bear with me here we go how they look to you all right it's funny how that one's in the shade a bit they are both dark uh, both the same color right let's get some tongs just bear with me hang on okay so this one is cooked in the oven this one in the air fryer so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut a piece off of each and we'll have a look at it from there so this is the air fryer one it's hot on both through just push it up this one's going to be hot right yeah that's the other one all right let's have a taste Bass was nice on the air fryer. No difference in the batter. So this is the air fryer. Very nice. This is the uh, oven. I can only say no difference both very nice mmm very nice um, right as far as the actual sushi and batter is concerned um, compared to the chip shop bearing in mind in the chip shop it's fried so you've got that extra bit of crunch to it but other than that there's no t no difference at all I, I, I highly recommend these they weren't dear I think they was three quid or something like that before um, I'll have a look and I'll put it up there if I find the uh, if I find the, uh, the price but other than that no recommend I will uh, dish up Karina's dinner with her chips and then you can see what the chips are like and we'll have a quick taste of them just bear with me a sec so there's the chips and we'll have a taste mm. this is still on the timer as per the machine I think personally they would have gained by having a couple of minutes more uh, these cut quite thin as you can see they're not really thick chips um, let's try another one mm -hmm. they're okay yeah considering I, I think could do a bit more salt on it and a bit of vinegar but other than that no that's okay so there you go right so it's only a quick video this um i'll edit this and get it up now uh quick thing now but apologies not much content recently uh was away this weekend uh, once in my battery reunion i was gonna do a video of that but i was having so much fun i just totally forgot about it sorry about that would have been nice just to show the hotel but uh, hey ho right um as far as i know the only thing that's coming up really it's not until next month when i'm off to the, on the normandy tour so I'll definitely be videoing all of that that should make up a couple of videos and that's going to be good hopefully it's going to be really good i'm doing this on the iphone because i just tried to do it on the uh on the mac and for some strange reason the voice was out of sync and i look like i'm sitting here all uncomfortable let's try this oh, i'm not good at doing this on the bloody iphone i hate doing it on the iphone all right um this is uh, just an added bit. First of all, what I should have mentioned before was the um, the fact that when you cook it in the oven, I think you cook in the oven, as you know, you have to preheat the oven, which can take 15 minutes. Whereas when you do it in the air fryer, I, I one, it's five minutes quicker, and B, two, whatever, you haven't got to heat it up. You just put your food in, um, 
apart from some things you have to preheat for two minutes, but that's nothing. Uh, but yeah, them frozen sausages, they just went straight in there and cooked for 20 minutes. Uh, the other thing was, because when you saw me dishing up, that was just for Karina, because that was about half past five, because Karina was on nights tonight. And that's too early for me to eat. So I take her in the station, sort the dogs out and the meals, and then I have my dinner. Because normally I'd microwave it. And as you know, it's something like chips, don't they go horrible, soggy. Whereas, uh, what is it, four minutes I did it for in the air fryer, and they were lovely. All nice and crispy still, not gone soggy. And I added some salt to it, which did help. Uh, and that was it, really. I'll get moaned at, because I'm, somehow I'm getting all the rubbish in from the... It's Karina's crap on the table, not mine. Karina, if you're seeing this, it's your crap, not mine. Um, yeah, so it was that was brilliant. Uh, well, I think that was it. That was all I was going to say. And Oh, yes, that was it. The other thing, I don't remember what I just bloody said on something else when I've tried this before. I forgot the video this morning, my, my bad, but we did another taste test this morning that I was going to do. We'd bought from uh, Ranges Iceland, uh, for those that don't know, Range is a, is a store that sells hardware and uh, f furniture and Christmas stuff and garden stuff and everything. It's got not a bad store, um, but they've started doing Iceland stuff. And it seems to be dearer in the range than it is in Iceland, but that's a, another thing we're going to research and I'll let you know on that one. Yeah, anyway, we bought these uh, cheese toasties, Cathedral City, ham and cheese toasty. Then when we went to Tesco's, we got a ham and cheese toasty from Tesco's to do a taste test. They cook in the oven and see what it was like this morning. We had half each of each. Without a doubt, Cathedral City won hands down. Uh, they, the ham was nice and thick and plenty of cheese in there. And the cheese was tastier. I want to expect so with Cathedral City. Anyway, that's it for now. I think that's all I can think of. Uh, usual stuff, please. If you like it, a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. If you didn't like it, please tell me why the hell you don't like it. I can often get a thumbs down. I wish someone who was going to give me a thumbs down would tell me why. Um, and, of course, share, 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 share. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. We're at 143. One day I might get past 200. I would love to get past 1,000. I might get monetized. Huh. Also, I should have mentioned, we had our birthday the other day. The channel had a birthday. The channel's now over five years old. I've been doing this for five years. It'll take me five years to get 143 subscribers. <laughs> but as I've always said, if I still enjoy it, still enjoy doing it, I will carry on doing it. Um, this is more because I enjoy it. And I um, apologise for the uh, funny sounding and every now and then a sniffle, but I have got heavy cold. I've had it for a week now. Can't get shot at the damn thing. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. And I'll catch you again soon. bye bye Maggie's a video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.